I've been on Capitol Hill for 13 years. I worked very diligently with both sides of the aisle. Half of my endorsements from Capitol Hill are coming from very conservative Republicans who are Mormon. Half of them are coming from Democrats, who I worked very closely with for many, many years. Many of you maybe saw the video that my boss, Jim Winder, put out the other day talking about my leadership and the work I've been doing at the Sheriff's Office and how I brought community leaders together to create the Unified Police Department. I also created a communications bridge. We were having real 911 communication problems between VEC and our Salt Lake County Sheriff Dispatch. And within one year, I fixed that problem and had the funding and the bridge in place so we could transfer calls without any issue. These are real life-saving decisions that go on when people choose to lead. And I want a chance to lead. I want to represent you. I want to be your voice. I want you to know you have access. I've been handing out my cell phone number and my home phone number this entire campaign. Those two numbers have not changed in 20 years. When I was a legislator, people had the same phone numbers. I'm accessible, and your voice matters to me, and I will be listening just like I have been this whole time. I want to make a difference. Everybody deserves to have the same opportunity to be successful in their life, and I want to help you do that. Please vote for me. Thank you for being here. You know, when I uh, ran, ran for mayor eight years ago, uh, I knocked on doors, as I have in every campaign uh, across the state. And you know my favorite place to be knocking on doors and talking to people? It was in these neighborhoods. People were welcoming. People were happy to spend a little time to talk to me and give me their ideas. Yeah. And that approach to serving as mayor, I've taken to heart and have used my entire time as mayor. We have one-on-one -on -one meetings where anyone can come in to see me. And I learned so much from people about cities and ideas and things they don't like that we need to get them. And as we go forward, I think we need to look at the wonderful things that have been happening in this city. Look at what's happening on North Temple. It is now the most beautiful street in the city. When it comes to investments of our capital and infrastructure, during my administration, we have been putting more money into neighborhood improvements here than in any other part of the city. That's the kind of attention and responsiveness that I know you need and deserve. And in my next four years, in my mind, we have just started. Uh, think of what we can do with the Jordan River. So it is truly this gem, this ribbon flowing through our city and valley so that we can all enjoy it. Uh, think what we can do with the neighborhood nodes so that Ninth and Ninth isn't thought about as an east side great place, but a west side great place. We can do so much more. And I hope, as you vote, you have your, your ballots before you, uh, that you'll continue on this great progress that we've made and allow me to serve another four years as your mayor. Thank you.